What is up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We are doing your collective love reading. I hope you're all doing well. Okay. Party? Moving on. Alrighty. Let's see what's coming towards you. Remember, if the reading resonates, please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. What's coming up for the collective in love? Synchrony, synchronicity and signs, faded me. Oh, shit, you guys. Oh, seduction and text message. Someone wants out of a toxic connection because the grass is greener somewhere else. Oh, all right. So the what I got was you're going to meet someone at a party. OK, after you meet this person, you're going to you or that person is going to be having all these signs like they're going to see your name or you're going to see their name or something's going to remind you of that party. And it's going to be like either this person's going to reach out to you or you're going to reach out to them. And it was a faded meeting. Whatever this is, you two are meant to be together. Someone's getting pulled out of a, a toxic connection big time. So let's see. What is coming towards the collective in love? What is grass is greener with toxic connection in the reverse? Holding back fear, overthinking, manipulation. So someone is in a controlling ass relationship that they cannot stand. And they feel like the grass is greener where you are. Where's party? Or I mean, what's party? Where's party? <laughs> what's party? Deception lies wearing a mask secrets. So it could have been you saw this person and they were hiding. Like they didn't come and approach you. They didn't say anything right away. Tell me more. Third party. So you could have been with someone else. So they felt like they couldn't approach you. That's probably why they're sending a message. What's moving on? Redemption, needing forgiveness and to redeem oneself. So yeah, I'm getting that... This storyline of like someone being in a toxic ass connection, whether it's you or them, and just getting this feeling of like, I'm fucking out of here. There's way too many fish in the sea. And maybe someone coming back and saying something to you like, hey, I'm sorry, I was a, that type of person back then, you know, like I apologize. It doesn't even have to be for a relationship specifically, okay? But someone wants redemption in their life. They're tired of being stuck. What is the faded meeting? Self-love, go within, treat yourself, shadow work, fresh start, new beginning, leap of faith, start over with manifesting. So somehow you were manifesting this. You wanted your true love or you wanted whatever this is next in your life to come and it's here. What signs and synchronicities? Ooh, dark night of the soul, facing fears and old wounds, release, move on, let go, trust your angels and trust that you are guided. So if you're having a hard time leaving a situation or they were, that's done. That's, that's just out. It's over. Someone's leaving. What's seduction with text message? Action. Take action. A good change. The divine feminine, you or this, you know, feminine energy coming towards you. And then life partner forever potential. See, I knew it from the beginning of the reading that there was a vibe of someone getting out of something that's really unhealthy for them and going towards something way better. It was a faded meeting, you guys. Very faded. So let's clean this up. Some of you are going to be meeting your life. Yes, I said it. Life partner. Mm-hmm. It's a faded meeting. And then I feel like this person's going to be messaging you. Like maybe they were afraid to approach you. Maybe it just starts with text messages or maybe you're fresh out of a connection and you just start messaging back and forth and then it gets more intense. Could even be online dating. So let's see you, them, what's going on between you and this person or what's coming towards the connection. For my collective, what do they need to know and love at this time? What is coming towards them? Oh, it's getting closer to Christmas, you guys. I can't wait for our new decks coming towards a collective okay you're being quiet you're like i ain't got shit to say right now <laughs> and you're working mm-hmm minding your own business you're like a straight line right now <laughs> tell me about the person coming towards my collective justice i hate that word collective i need a different one collective is just like too much and then the page of cups they feel like this invitation is gonna be what you're looking for surrounding the connection crowning the connection 
The two of wands. All right, someone making a physical decision here in the central for the connection. We got the three of wands, oh boy. And in the foundation, the two of swords. Bottom of the deck, we got the four of wands. Whew, what about this four of wands for my collective? The three of pentacles. I'm telling you, you're meeting someone at a party. One more. Okay, seven of swords in the reverse. All right, so this is someone that I feel has been around, but you just don't see them. <laughs> like they're out in the community. This is someone that could like drive past your house too, okay, with the four of wands being here. This is the home, this is community, and this is like a in and out kind of energy. But this is also someone that does things like this, right? Someone that likes to fuck with you, but make sure that they leave a little bit behind just so that you know it was them. Yeah. One of those people. We don't like those people. They're shady as hell. So it's almost like someone was trying to ruin someone's reputation or it's just very underhandedly childish. And it's like, no, I can't stand this card. You guys know that. So you're quiet. You're working, minding your own business. And then this person pops up out of nowhere, like physically bridged. They've been in denial for God knows how long. Right. And then out of nowhere, this person plans to just come in and you're like, what? I think you might play dead. <laughs> no one's home. No one's home. Get the fuck out of here. Like, it's a very <laughs> weird thing I'm looking at. Let's see. I have to clarify. Yeah, it's like you don't want to argue with this person and be pissed off. You know this person's coming with a fight. And that was the other thing I was going to say when I put down the three of wands and you heard me go, oh boy. Because I saw the five of wands. So this is someone that doesn't know how to heal, can't get out of their own fucking head. So they sit there and like plan and try to figure out how to get in. Let's see. It's like while you were sitting there expecting the world to revolve around you, people were out there working. Just because I wasn't talking to you doesn't mean the world stopped. You know what I mean? What's the four of swords <laughs> with the eight of pentacles for my viewers? You guys are too funny. You're like, ah, uh, no, I'm home. <laughs> what is this? The tower, yeah. You're like, this is a disaster. No, thank you. Could be a Scorpio or it could be a past breakup. The six of pentacles. Yeah, you know this person's just coming in because they fucking want something. Mm -hmm. And then we got the three of swords. So this is a past person for a lot of you that I feel like you've always tried to treat very well. Like, you've always been there for this person, no matter what the fuck they did. And now you're quiet. And it scares the shit out of them. Yep. So what's justice with the Page of Cups? The Four of Wands. What is going on here? With the world, I'm this person's out and about. One more. And then the King of Wands wanted to come out in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the Three of Pentacles here again. This is definitely someone that's not in your direct space, okay? This is someone at a distance. And they could be Aries, Leo, Sag. We got Libra, Strongly, Scorpio, and a Pisces. Maybe a Cancer, but I'm just saying so far. Yeah, there's some like shady person in the community, you guys, that does not want a couple to be happy or something or wants someone else's person. And this person lurks around the vicinities, okay? Like they're out there, outside your house, outside your home. They know where you are. They know how to like, they want to run into you or something like that. So they might try to manipulate the situation to make it seem like it was a faded meeting because they want to seduce you or they want to try to get your number or some shit. Because they, they obviously don't like the person you're with. And not only that, they're stalking you like a motherfucker because they, wa they want to know how you got what you got. You know what I'm saying? They're like, this motherfucker is fine. This, everyone loves them. Like, how do I get in on that? Mm-hmm. So I feel like maybe they're just asking people about you, like getting information, and then they dip out. But they try to make it seem like they're not up to anything because they want to offer you something, but they don't know how to do that yet. Mm-hmm. Strong passion, though. Woo. 
Yes, this is somebody that wants you bad. Like that passion is driving them all the way. Notice we got five of wands here and over here because four and then this king's holding one. So I feel like this person's coming with drama. And not in that way, but like they're going to be dramatic about the situation. Like they're not going to give up easily. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the two of wands is, you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could be hearing, because I was like, this is like an apology, or this could be a person that they broke up with. Like, you could be getting news about the breakup, and then they're coming towards you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you could be getting news of this, but you ain't saying shit with the four swords. <laughs> What's the two of wands? <laughs> the eight of wands, yeah, because this is flat-out communication. Like, a lot of it. And then the fool here, we got Aries, and then we got the hermit. So this is someone that's like, how do I get back in their good graces? How do we start again? They meditate on this shit. They're like, do I go talk to them or do I just show up? I mean, do I call them or do I just show up? That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And they're thinking about it like a motherfucker. Could be an Aries or a Virgo. Now we got Virgo here. Or the King of Cups who just tried to pop out. Tell me about the Three of Wands. What's coming towards my viewers? What's this person's fucking plan here? What's what's going on? The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm taking that. And then the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, okay. I get it. This person, because you're emotionally gone, I feel, right? Like, you guys are really working hard. You're very quiet and healed. You're going towards your life partner. And this person who's always felt this sense of abandonment, right? Who could not emotionally walk away, finally is, okay? Whether this is you or them. And I feel like maybe they've watched you walk away. And the tables have turned. So they're freaking the fuck out. <laughs> like, <laughs> where the hell do you think you're going? <laughs> away from you. And I mean that energetically. So for those of you in the toxic connection, this would apply to you. Yeah, there's just too many cooks in the kitchen. What's the two of swords? Who's in denial? What's this denial energy? Okay, page of swords. Someone's in denial, but trying to get the information right. Tell me. The ten of cups, because they care about you. Mm -hmm. But then you get this message and you're like, look, wow, I love this, you guys. And it's immature energy is what I feel because it's like you're trying to be serious, you know, and this person's just like, hey, <laughs> hi. And then that's when you do this. <laughs> you're like, mm -mm. you are not confusing me and you are not stressing me the fuck out. I refuse. I, <laughs> bye. This person's like, wait. <laughs> and you're like, no, please energetically leave me alone. So what can they do but watch, you know, watch you grow and be happy and daydream the way that they do, you know, fantasize about something they can't have. So what is this four of wands? What is this faded meeting to get away from this toxic person? What is that? But what is this? Yes, the, the release of confusion. Just stay silent. And someone's going to, I feel, be overly emotional. There'll be a water sign. So, yeah, this person wants to get you in your feelings is what I'm seeing here. They want you to, They're like I said, when someone says something to you to try to get a rise out of you, that's what's going on. Could be a Sagittarius. But this is someone that's upset. But I feel bad for this person, honestly, because it's almost like they don't want to deal with their emotions and they're afraid of love. So that's why they do this. And it's hard for them to get close to people. You know, and that's why I feel like you're not even wasting your breath. Yeah, you guys are like doing really good right now. Look at you. And then look at this. I want you guys to see this. Holy crap. Yeah, this is someone here that I feel wants to try to block your blessings in a way. You know, like they they don't want you to be fully happy. They want you to be annoyed. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of is an annoying family member that always opens their big fucking mouth. And tries to like, you know, wedge something in there just to try to see if anyone will pay attention to them. And it's like, oh my God, shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this is also you now saying, I'm done with those games and I'm defending my happy love life, which you guys are going to have, okay? 
Your judgment is very clear. You're protective of those that you love. You have true love in your life. If not, it's coming. You have new love here. And you are the empress or the emperor. And you will get what you deserve in a good way. And so will they. Oh, they sure will. It's like if you want to be a part of this, you have to be spiritual. You have to love yourself. And I feel like you told someone this before, you know, but yeah, there's like an apology from a toxic old connection. But then there's also this new, new love coming in for you guys. That is just amazing. And it's something that I feel you're ready for too. Like you're spiritually ready for this. You and that other person. Okay. Where do we want to go next guys? Let's see. What's the tea? Do we want to do that today? No, we don't. Let's see. I'm going to do this. How's this person secretly feeling towards my viewers? You got away. You're the one that got away. I'll look for you in the next life. Forever change. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone with late nights. Thoughts of you keep me up at night. Even if I fall asleep, I dream of you. What else do we got here? We got divorce in the reverse with helpless in the reverse. So yeah, there might be someone there that is stuck in a manipulative, controlling relationship that they can't get out of or they don't know how to. So this person just stays up late as fuck thinking about how you got away, how you really have changed them forever, but how that light that you shined into their life does intimidate their toxic demons and they're not ready. And you know, with that four swords, you're like, uh uh. What's at the top? Yeah, they're asking friends. Yeah, they're telling people like, I cannot get them out of my mind. Fucking help me. What do I do? Look, right when I said that, all in my head. And this person is getting tired of pretending. Because now they finally understand with hard to read in the reverse. Mm-hmm. That, and I think they're trying to kick an addiction. And they're trying to kick a sex addiction as well. And the partying. Okay. Jesus, Lord. All right. Let's see now. Over here. What is next in my viewers' love lives? We haven't used this deck in a little bit. What is next for my viewers in their love lives? What is coming towards them in love? What do they need to know at this time? It says opposites, differences, creating barrier, love and strife, love versus ego, two opposite forces. My rock, loved and supported, solid foundation, security and stability. So see, it's like one person, no, other person, yes. And then what's at the bottom? <gasps> Engagement, commitment, promises, making it official, marriage in your future with my rock. So again, I'm telling you, someone's leaving a toxic to go towards the real thing because they're unvalued in a relationship and they're tired of playing this game with this person. Someone's getting a revenge body too, like a mother. Look, taken for granted, tired of taking this risk, looking your best, punishing your ex. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, well, I'm just gonna split the deck on this one. I'm gonna shuffle and we're gonna split three times. I like doing that. So what's coming towards my viewers in love this week? What do they need to know? Or no, I didn't split. I didn't split. All right, here we go. Look, revenge body's back. Healing. And abundance. Woo! Financial blessings, healthy money perspective, and financial independence. I like this. Let me get this shit out of here. Okay. Some of you are looking really good right now. I'm not even going to lie. Like, you look good, good. Mm -hmm. You're reevaluating your needs. You got self-care, self-love. You're moving forward. You got financial blessings. You're looking your best. People that aren't on your, on your team, you're kicking them out to the fucking side. They're over here crying and shit. You got people that are obsessed over you that will not leave. They want to marry you. They want to be with you forever. This is beautiful. And the things that they're bringing towards you are abundant and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot, guys. I do. Abundance. Revenge body, too. Shit. Okay. 
So I think we will go to um, our romance cards now. What does my collective need to know when it comes to this person's spirit? What is this person really feeling towards my collective? And what is the outcome between the two of them? Okay. And then I want to do your romance angels and see how they match up with our other romance angels. So what is coming towards my viewers and love? Oh, perfect. It's three. It's exactly what I was going to do. So we got let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. We've got deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. There's an emphasis on friends, community, someone taking their mask off in front of you and you making a snap decision about the truth when you do receive it. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone, a friend, is telling you about some kind of deception here. Or this person could be going to one of your friends and asking them, like, help me. You know, like, help me get into their good graces type of thing. Mm -hmm. So let's see. What is the advice on your side? We have live in harmony. True love is about growing as a couple, learning about each other, and never giving up on each other. The person coming towards you has got dangers of a lustful relationship. Lust is a tool, desire, a trap. Wield the first so you can take someone's soul. Fall into the second and they can take yours. And see, you didn't fall into their trap. And I, <laughs> this king of wands is like, you're the only one who figured me out. Yeah. Whether it's a king of wands or a queen of wands. All right. And then between the two of you, we have got don't deny your feelings. You can't stop the feelings you have for someone. You can't lie to yourself either. Your heart knows the truth all too well with that faded meeting and wherever you two met. Remember that deception lies, wearing a mask, deception. Someone's lying about their feelings for you. They love you and they want you to give them a chance. For some of you, this could even be like a close best friend of yours or something. But they're like, please give me a chance. All right, guys. Well, let's do your coffee cups, and then we will go to all signs. Whoa, your cards are jumping like crazy today. We got directions and journey, the ship. You guys are moving in a new direction. Ooh, wife and engagement. Some of you could be getting married. Mm-hmm, did come up. What else? It's coming towards my collective this week. The horse, freedom and action. So, yeah, someone could be free. You could be free. But it's someone wants to come in with this message and tell you the truth. Look, what are all these damn cards? You see how my cards are looking right now? How the fuck? And then we got the crown. What's the next card? The bear? How'd this even happen to me? Hang on. Okay, yeah, it was just those few. So, yeah. I feel like there's a new day for my collective today. And you guys are standing in your power. You're not allowing anyone in that doesn't want what you want. This is a big surprise for you. Someone's free. You're putting on your crown and you got a message coming that's going to make you very happy. And it's a nice surprise. It might even be financial freedom, you guys. All right, let's go all, to all signs. All right, let's do this. God, that fucking light is so bright. Okay, so dealing with a Leo, what do you guys need to know? I don't even get how it's that fucking bright. Okay, there we go. There we go. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I swear so much. What does Leo need to know at this time from their person? Are people dealing with the Leo? Energy cords. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that's keeping, <laughs> excuse me, you two connected. Gemini. Plotting. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty other options. Cancer. Divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring to light all that's been hidden. Watch out, Cancer. <laughs> Libra. Passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. Virgo. Beauty and grace, they find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Cappies, 
serendipity. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. Taurus. Uprooting. They're leaving all that's familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. <laughs> Aries. Building an empire. They see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy. Only holding them back from love. <clears throat> Pisces. Broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. Pisces, you're dealing with someone sensitive. Sagittarius. Love is a fire. You've set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. Aquarius. At last. They don't want you to give up now when you come this far because it'll all be worth it in the end. And then Scorpios. Oh, shit. You guys got two. You got Mysterious One. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged very different from the rest and overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. You. Okay. And then for all of you, we have got Gossip and Children. Interesting. It says, Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. And there's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that's affecting not only their judgment, but their vision, too. There might be children talking <laughs> about this relationship, you guys. What the fuck is happening this weekend? <laughs> like, bitch, I got the tea. Did you hear about my mom and dad? <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck, you guys? But if not, it's just immature people that gossip. You know, family members and a bunch of bullshit would probably be dealing with around the holidays. That's actually really nothing serious, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing weekend. And I love, love, love you. Bye.